Afternoon guys, welcome to another episode of Luke's Garage, which is actually filmed in my study today. Um, we're going to talk about drag chains. So as many of you will be aware, the standard Shapiko kit these days includes drag chains. Uh, once upon a time it didn't, and realistically it's one of those things where they've improved it over time and actually recognise it's a fantastic way of improving the kit. Now, I myself, I was uh, pre-drag train, I uh, never received them as part of my kit, I wasn't too bothered, and to be honest, until last week or the week before, I hadn't even considered using them, uh, I really don't know why. Um, anyway, after messing around and doing some more electronics, I decided I wanted to get some drag chains, and I went onto eBay, I uh, went and bought a couple of metres of drag chain, I thought, oh, this is, this is quite good. Um, I worked out I needed about um, 15 by 30 and I bought the drag chains for wonderful and then I went to fit them and realised it was incredibly difficult to feed all the wires through the drag chain. Uh, I also have a water cooled spin door and I was getting water everywhere because I was feeding pipe work um, and then the the head of the water cooled spin, sorry, the power cable for the water cooled spin door, the spin door wire wouldn't fit through because it's got a large connector on it, I thought balls. So I went on and searched for more drag chains and ordered a load where it said you could open them. I went through two different sellers, I waited three weeks overall and every time I ordered I found I would receive drag chains that I could not open. Anyway, I decided to extend the search and buy directly from China, you know, if you want reliability. Um, and then this morning I received my new drag chains. Now these come from a company called Cloudray I believe. Uh, I'll post a link along the video. And these are 15 by 30 mil drag chains, internal diameter, which you can open. They're fairly straightforward, I mean, it is a drag chain, but just looking at the mechanism, these are really clever. Because what they allow you to do is just fold up or down these little clips. And when they're folded down, they lock in place. and they lock all the cabling in place. You can also take them off. So there's a spare piece, which has just come out of there. And it just locks down. You also receive the end pieces. I've got a couple on my desk there. Haven't really done anything with them yet. Um, and really the reason why I bought these is because you can quickly and easily feed the wire directly through the unit, uh, clip it all in place, and then if later on you need to make a change or modify it, you can do. Now, it's just a really simple thing. Um, it took me a long time to get there, but I thought it'd be worth posting a video. I will fit these this evening, and I'll post a video of them fitted to show you how well or how well they don't work. I kind of envision they'll be um, absolutely fine, but uh, I thought I'd make people aware. And importantly, well, not importantly, but nicely, these cost me less than the eBay ones, including express shipping via DHL from China. I paid, I think, £12 for two metres worth of drag chain, including postage. They arrived in a week and a little bit. Um, I paid £12 for, two, for one metre of drag chain off eBay, which was advertised as this stuff. It was not the correct stuff, and it took almost a week to get here. So, yeah. Anyway, video of them fitted later. Thanks for watching. Cheers.